gonna make some type YouTube video type tutorial on Alex Kid in Miracle World Sega Master System. World record currently in contention. <laughs> right. So we begin with the hardest level to optimize. Uh, level one is Green Hill Zone. Um, what you want to do? I guess I'll go through it jump by jump. Uh, my time is on an auto splitter, so it's going to be it's going to be running on its own, but it doesn't matter. Um, as soon as you start, the timer starts from uh, when you take control, not not when you uh, press reset. So the timer starts. Yeah. As soon as you start, you want to hold right and tap, do a small jump, slightly smaller than that, uh, slightly larger than that, to get you off this corner. So you fall off this corner. Uh, as soon as you pass that corner, start holding left. Drop down here. Um, as you drop down here, you can punch that top top block, and after you've dropped, you can jump and punch the second one to collect the two gold. We're collecting gold as you go through this level, uh, so that you can afford the bike in level two. So you collect those two gold, hold right, drop down here. As you drop down, you want to punch the top block. As you fall down, and then punch the bottom block. Uh, after that, as soon as possible. So you just bang punch at that point. Uh, these dragons are on cycles depending on when the camera scrolls down to them, so they'll be different than they'll no, they'll be out of the way normally. So after you punch those, you hold right, drop down here. You punch these two blocks. You again, you punch the top one as you drop down. You jump to punch the second one, collect two gold. A note about the gold bags that you're collecting. Uh, in order to have enough gold, they're random. Small, you get a small one or a big one randomly out of these blocks. You want to see throughout the level no more than three, uh, no, no more than four small gold bags. If if you get more small gold bags out of these than four, you can't afford the bike with this route, and you have to go out of your way in the water to collect a couple of extra gold or reset. So collect those two. Once you've jumped uh, to punch the second one, you want to land here rather than here. Because you're going to turn around and punch this block to fall through here. Um, when you get here, the dragon should be flying towards you. Uh, so you punch this one, pick it up, and jump over the dragon so you fall down there, like this. Once you've started falling down there, you hold right, so you're into this block. Punch this block to pick up the ring. It'll be very important for the volcano level later. Um, this dragon will be on a cycle... I can't remember if you need to punch it or not, but this dragon will be on a cycle, probably flying away. You can get, jump down here. Um, kind of optimally... Oh, hello, stay hydr hydrated bot. Doing a million things in the chat. Oh, weird. Kind of optimally, um, you can do a little hop of that ledge that I've just fallen down from up there. You can do a little hop just before you get to that the edge of that ledge. Hit your head on the roof and drop down the edge of that, the, uh, the edge of this ledge up there and hold left so you miss this one. In, you miss this one that I'm standing on entirely and just fall to here. Once you're here, you actually need to wait slightly because uh, this dragon will be on a slightly awkward cycle. You need to wait for it to fly away, fly away slightly so that you can drop down without dying. So you just hold right, hold left to drop down, then jump up to get that gold as you fall down there, and change to holding right. This dragon, you'll just be able to make the cycle. It will be about here as you get here, and you can punch it as you come down. You'll just about make that cycle. Um, which will add you here. Then the inputs to be able to fall through um, this money bag up there is kind of specific. Well, it's very kind of sensitive because if you already have momentum. Another li even another little tap will kind of send you <laughs> massively in the direction you're already going, weirdly. Um, so you just have to get a feel of dropping off that ledge up there so that you can drop through this bag, this money bag as you get it. Um, you notice I can't collect it by jumping straight up now if I've missed it. Um, but in this game, jumping straight up like this, you jump slightly lower than if you were to do a full jump moving in a direction like this. You get higher, you get a much higher well, much higher, you get like a head higher if you are holding left or right the whole time while jumping. Just an interesting little thing that's useful in some places. Um, once you collect that one by falling down, you can immediately uh, hold left and do a full jump and punch through the drake, which will be about there. And you can, optimally, you can fall down that gap without touching the edge of that ledge. Land here, hold left. That This dragon will be all the way on the right side of the screen, it doesn't matter, so you land on this platform, hold left and punch this block without stopping and kind of go through it, like, uh, not like that, I'll wait for the dragon to get out of the way. Get out of here, right. Like that, so that you don't bonk on it, 
you, you do a punch in the air and collect the gold as you kind of fall through. Um, if you punch while standing on the ground, all of your speed is stopped dead. Um, but if you punch while in the air, your speed isn't, isn't stopped or anything, so you can punch kind of freely while in the, while in the air. So that's the most optimal way to do that. Um, you'll land here. You want to do. You want to hold right and do a little hop, so you jump up through both of these gold bags. And this dragon will be about there, so you get to fall down there. Oh, I, I missed the bottom one, but you want to hop to so you kind of jump through both of them. So hold right for slightly longer before doing the little hop. There. And then optimally, you'll fall down without landing on this ledge here. You'll fall straight down this gap here. And as you're falling down, you hit this. You hit this top block as you're falling down. And then when you land, you immediately hit again to get clear the uh, bottom block. And if you've if you've fallen down here. Uh, without touching the ledge up there and hit that block and clear the bottom block as fast as possible. You can hold left and fall straight down this gap to the left that we want to get to uh, before the dragon flies across and blocks it. So you'll be able to get in before that dragon, before you have to stop all your speed to punch the dragon. Uh, oops, took that too fast. So when you fall down that gap, you stay in the same place to collect those three bags that I fell through. And slightly after collecting those three bags, start holding right. And you should fall through this one that's right above me as well to collect that gold. Uh, once you're in the water, hold A constantly. Whenever you're in a water level, always hold A. Just just constantly. Because it makes you swim faster. Uh, so we're going to hold right. Fun fact, this if you just hold right here, the, the level doesn't scroll to the right uh, where you want to go. So you want to get to over here, start holding down, and get to about this line in the wall. And then the screen unlocks so you can go to the right. You want to punch through that. You want to try not to block, uh, bonk on these blocks as you punch through them, because you can make the punch hit them without without bonking on them. Uh, once you get to this section, kind of spam tap down at a rate where you, where you don't float up, so you can get through the scap without bonking. Hopefully, uh, again, if I went through this fast, the camera lock would be uh, would be different. So the cycle of this guy swimming up and down would be different. Um, he's not going to spawn any bubbles if you do it, if you do it properly. You'll come over here, break this block, swim straight through. I think I have to. I'll, I'll get. I'll play through the level right at the end. Actually, no. I'll explain the rest of the level and then play through it like properly once. So, yeah, you come come straight through here without without stopping. Break that block. Um, and then while this this guy will be at the bottom, not firing bubbles for the first time, you can come in here. You have to hold left slightly in order to uh, not bump into him and die. Um, and then you should be able to like sneak up there, get to this third or fourth block, break through it, and come straight out here. Uh, this fish will be fairly off screen because the camera will be scrolled further to the left. Um, so you need to kill that fish. You need to know the timing of when that fish is coming, kill it, and then just break two blocks straight into the. Uh, what's it called? Or origimi? Onigimi? Can't remember. Uh, the exit. Or the hamburger if you're at the American version. Um, so this is what level one looks like. I think I mentioned everything. I'm going to do it again because this drake is on a different cycle, so... This guy missed one of those blocks there. Just to show the optimal cycle of uh, when you can jump over drakes. So I've got four... <laughs> whoops. I've got four small gold money bags there at the start and the first four boxes, so you probably want to reset if that happens since it's so close, so close to the start. And you don't want to get uh, not enough gold to afford the bike in the second level. Again, that's two small small money bags. There's a big one. And there's a small fourth small one, so that's pretty bad. Oh, missed up. Going A, pressing down, going to there, and then being able to scroll to the right. So it's sneaking through here. Just have to hold left up against that left wall for a second. And then you can get through that guy. Level 2, hold right. When you get exactly in line with the centre of the door, uh, press punch. You're still holding right, it doesn't matter. Press punch because it stops your momentum straight away, and in order to go in the door you have to kind of be stationary. And then hold up to go in the door. Press punch and up at the same time, basically, when you're exactly in line with the door. Now, if you'd done level 1 correctly, you'd have 200 gold at this point, which is why you need enough gold to afford this bike here. So I guess I have to go back and do level 1 correctly. <laughs> Let me just uh, pick a save save state so I can keep the save state going through here. There we go. I won't I won't have to go back and do stuff. Uh, I'll keep the save state for the tutorial sake. Uh, 
Oh, I didn't quite wait. Well, I can... either you wait slightly longer for that guy to get out of the way, or you let go of left, only tap left a tiny bit so you drop it more of a vertical angle so you don't touch the guy like that. It's supposed to be a tutorial. Get through, get through level one. Uh, so that, that time I kind of went at the same time but I dropped more vertically rather than having my momentum carry over the ledge into him. Ah. Yeah, if you, if you don't quite hit those those blocks on the way down through that gap, you have to wait and punch that drake to kill it, otherwise you can't make it down the gap. Punch that fish coming from off-screen. He's always in the same place coming from off-screen there. Alright, so now we're up to level 2, we should have 200 gold. Punch it and press up him to go in the door. Uh, oh, <laughs> don't continue holding up once the screen is transitioned, otherwise <laughs> you'll immediately exit the shop when the text bubble stops. Um, yeah, so just uh, hold right for a slight for a slight bit, do a medium jump, uh, hold... Oh, to skip these text boxes from the shopkeeper, you can just be holding A to make them go away as soon as possible. Um, jump into the bike. As soon as you're touching the... But when he says when the text bubble that says thank you starts loading, uh, start holding left again. And then again, you need to be stationary to get out this door, so you can't punch while in the shop. Although it does stop your momentum of pressing the punch button, so that does help. Again, when you get to the door, press punch and up to walk out at the easiest. And then for this level, you just hold right, you just hold right, go through here, go through here, jump when you get to that money bag, and jump over the red dots. That's the only thing you need to do. Uh, yeah, collecting three money bag kind of per pyramid section and two for that final one. And then here you just do a collect that jump, uh, do a small jump, like one of your smallest jumps through that last money bag, and you should kind of land on top of here with the bike. If you land higher, it takes slightly longer to fall down, like a couple of frames longer to fall down here. But you want to land low and crash the bike into there. And then hold right, jump through here. Now here's interesting. You want to pause exactly at this spot. Actually, I should have. Um, left a save state so I could show, uh, so I could pause the emulator and show exactly where the right place is, I'll, I'll go and do that. So hold left, punch it up, hold right, press nothing through the two pyramids, and then jump to get the third money bag to go over the red dot, and then one more jump over that red dot, nothing through two pyramids, jump through money bag, over red dot, over red dot, over red dot, and jump through the money bag, and then small jump, get on top of there. Right, I will Drop another save state, and do some emulator pausing, uh, and frame advancing. So, I think I might have just split the time of accident, but whatever, the time is not relevant right now. The spot you're looking for, if I can get my mouse, I can't get my mouse, but I'll... Well, I could get my mouse, but this is easy, easier. I'll show you the, the exact spot. It's not frame perfect, um, this pause. I have my pause on spacebar, by the way. Uh, for ease of use. Yeah, it's not frame perfect, but what this does is skip the boss's text boxes completely if you pause in the right place. So, the spot you're looking for is something like here. It, it's, it can be like one or two frames either side of this point. I, I'm not quite sure how precise it is, but it's not the most. It's not as precise as other things in this run. Um, and there are a lot of these boss fights which have this same exactly the same mechanic. So once you're on this spot, you can kind of see the the line of the rocks below me. There's a larger rock on my left side and a smaller rock on my right side. And the line of the in between those two rocks is kind of exactly centered on me, is what I look at. The uh, yeah, on the the right side of the fifth rock along from the from the edge of the screen is what I look at for a kind of a marker there. Somewhere uh, when you get to this point, you're hitting pause and then hitting pause again. Uh, to get out of the menu uh, as fast as possible. And that will load you straight straight into the fight without any text boxes. Um, it also causes some interesting glitches. Now with these fights, the Rock Rippers' options are always the same as long as you continue to get them right. If you get one wrong, then they'll be <laughs> different and I can't help you anymore. <laughs> so this guy is Rock and then Scissors. And you can see the glitches happening because we did that pause. Um, as soon as as soon as you win uh, one of the rounds, just hold A to skip through the text box, and the next one will play. And then it's, when you're in the second round, hold A to skip through the text box, and hold right to just run straight to that as soon as possible. Um, now, one other thing about this fight, you can get a pause which looks like this if you do it too early, 
And if he hasn't appeared, you notice he hadn't appeared on the right side of my screen. The boss, rock, head, whatever he's called, hadn't appeared at all. Oh, Ron lost the first Tetris match. Tell him, tell him hang in there. I don't know. <laughs> I believe in him. Anyway, if the boss hasn't appeared, appeared at all, um, you can continue to spam pause. So you pause again as, as fast as humanly possible when the game unpauses. And you get another pause, and then you end up in the right place like this. Again. Alternatively, you can get a very awkward one, where you pause slightly after that point. Let's see if I can get it. You pause slightly after that point, but still slightly before the point you were supposed to pause normally. And he appears... Ah, uh, yeah, like this. He appears, but the, fi the fist symbol didn't appear. And in that case, do not spam pause to try and pause and unpause again to get in the right place because that'll softlock the game. <laughs> um, in this case, you get half of his text box. You get his second text box, so this is called getting a half pause. Um, yeah, so you, so you have to wait through only one of his text boxes if this happens. There's nothing you can do about it. And then it goes into the fight, and you don't get the visual glitches. Um, and again, it, yeah, it's, it's all the same uh, for this fight either way. It's always rock and, rock and then scissors. And I think that's everything to mention with that level. Just knowing the three different kind of pause states you can get for that guy. Uh, hopefully you get the, the best one each time, obviously, but then adapting. So then we're at water level. You want to hold A immediately, hold A the entire time, and just hold right until you get to about here. When you're over here, you want to be holding right and down. So yeah, ultimately, ultimately holding right the entire time. For the... the, the so... <laughs> These octopus ten tentacles are on cycles. This one, you hardly need to wait for at all. You can be about here, holding down and right the whole time. Um, and then just just touch up and right, and then down and right again. And you'll get past it on the correct cycle. So, looking something like this. Oh no, you don't even need to touch uh, up, up actually, it's too difficult. Hold down the, the whole time, and just touch left. And then right, there we go. So I think what I do is touch left and let go of go of right for a second, and then hold down and right again. Yeah, you should get through in that proper cycle. Um, rise up here. When you get to the top of this mound, hold down and right. Go under these guys. When you get to about here, hold up, up and right, so you can get through here. Hopefully without bonking. It's a bit tight to get perfectly through that space there without like that without bonking. Uh, that's a bonk. That's, that's also a bonk. Yeah, you can you can let go of right for a, a tad if you want to kind of manoeuvre through that space without bonking. But anyway, then you come up to these these blocks. Optimally, it's annoyingly difficult for me at least. You want to punch through all of these blocks the same way as you did with the first the first level in the water. You can punch through a block without bonking it, so it clears out the way as you swim through. Which I probably won't be able to do perfectly, but let's give it a go. <laughs> wow, that was complete garbage. Let's. Uh, Let's do it in the flow of uh, the whole level. Let's hold down there. Hold up here. Punch, punch, punch. So, optimally, those three punches will let you sw sw uh, smoothly th swim through there without bonking any of them, but realistically you're going to bonk one or two of them as you, as you punch through anyway. Um, so you come up here and you come to this guy, who's on a cycle which will be... You, have, you can swim down here, um, so you get to here, hold down and right. And what I like to do is hold down and right until I hit this wall, and then hold up and down and right and go back through. So you have to wait longer longer for this cycle uh, than the first one to get through. It doesn't matter if you um, touch his head and his body, that doesn't kill you, only the arm kills you. So I'll try and show what that cycle looks like uh, coming at it uh, from the correct time. Again, it's when the camera scrolls onto him. So kind of down and right, into the wall, up and down and right. Oh, I went just like too soon. I'm trying to do what I said. I'm trying to do as I say and not as I do. Yeah, let me think about the exact the exact way I do this. You can see the inputs on the screen here, so Yeah, I just just wait at the wall for a, a slight a smidgen longer. Get through that guy, holding still trying to hold right for as long as long as possible. Uh, for as much of the level as possible, obviously. Let yourself float up onto this roof here. Holding right, punch through this block without bonking it. Punch through the fish without bonking it, although you can't go past the fish without punching it sometimes. And, uh, yeah, swim to the exit. And then we have Jump Island. So you want to 
uh, press nothing, and as soon as the as soon as the level is in, uh, jump as early as possible, holding right the entire time for this for all of this level, pretty much. So jump as soon as the level loads in as fast as possible. Uh, small jump across here. Well, I kind of okay. I'll, I'll label the jumps as small, medium, and large. Although there's going to be a different, a big range of medium jumps, really very precise. But uh, as a general guideline, small, medium, and large. This one's a medium one. As soon as you land, as soon as you land on top of here, medium jump here. As soon as you land on top of here, small jump here. As soon as you land on top of here, uh, sp slightly bigger than small jump. Kind of a larger, larger of the two. If you fall down into this pit, you can't get back up here without punching this block or doing a or going all the way to the right hand side and doing a jump that gets you higher by holding left, as I explained earlier. So you small jump up onto here, small jump here. Uh, you can here it's helpful to let go of right for a split for a bit so you can land on top of this block. No, I, he says not landing on top of it. Otherwise, you have to do a really small small jump to get on top of this block. Um, which can be pretty tight, so you can you can do a slightly larger jump but let go of right to land on top of that block. Um, and then a medium medium jump onto here, medium jump onto here, medium jump, medium jump, small jump off of there, me uh, larger jump, not largest but larger jump onto here, uh, very very small jump onto here uh, without falling off. <laughs> if you do fall off, it's not it's not that bad once you've got to this section. Um, I'll explain. A couple of other recovery method methods near the beginning of the level, actually, because in places where you have to climb back up awkwardly. Uh, so you're on this one, you've done a small jump to this one, and then you get to a, you want to make sure you're on the second half of this block, somewhere past halfway of it. Do a full jump to this one, which you should which should be easy if you have the momentum coming off the uh, previously holding right. Let me back up there just to explain it. I don't have the momentum. There we go. Full jump onto this one, and then medium jump landing on these red ones. Well, it doesn't really matter at this point, just as long as you're holding right. You can do a small jump or just fall off of here. And then this is another spot where you want to um, pause exactly in the right place to skip this guy's text box. The place you're looking for um, is something like... Uh, the optimal one, the latest one you can do is uh, where the kind of <clears throat> the left side line of his rock abode is kind of centered with your sprite. So this might be one frame too far. I think I think this might be okay actually. I think this is the latest frame you can pause on. And then this might be one frame too far. Yeah, this is one frame too far definitely. If the and when the helicopter spawns, um you know you've skipped past the text box. Or, or you haven't paused at all, and he's going to start talking, uh, which is what's going to happen here. This text block is massive. Unless you're on the Japanese version, it's slightly smaller, but still, still massive. So this pause is harder to get. It's much harder to get than the boss pause previously. But there are more things you can do with this to make sure um, to make sure you get through it at the cost of a couple of seconds. So I'll show that. I'll show the. I'll show you the jumping section of this level from the beginning, and then I'll get to this section and explain the other parts of this pause. So, jump as soon as the game spawns. Medium, medium, small, small. Uh, <laughs> I can't really say it as I'm going live, but... Small, big. I drop down here, and... Pause and unpause. So there, maybe I haven't uh, got far enough past the point where he starts talking his text box, so again, you have a split second to kind of assess your position, and then if you want, if you think you haven't got far enough to skip this text box, you can spam pause and unpause again. If the helicopter is spawned after you unpause, you know for certain that you've definitely skipped this text box. Um, you don't need to collect the helicopter to finish this level, by the way, you can just jump straight to the exit and you'll have the helicopter next level anyway. Um, oh, I should have saved it at the pause guy, let me just get there again. So optimally, so that was a pause too early, and then I didn't re-pause for the second pause. Uh, the current record pauses twice on this guy, so it is very it is very tight to get it first try. Um, optimally, you want to only pause once, obviously, because this is timed RTA and the time is still going to be running while while you pause. 
so stopping to pause again a second time loses like a couple of seconds, but pausing twice is still faster than waiting for the whole text bubble normally. I think pausing three times is about the same length as the whole text bubble normally. Pausing four times is too long, but at that point you might as well pause four times because you've already paused the other three, and waiting for the text bubble on top of that is going to be even worse. So yeah, most of the time, to get this safely, you want to pause twice, and you'll get through like that. You want to pause slightly before your head reaches the line of the of the left side of his building, and then pause again after that. So this is definitely a two-pause one. When you get the, if you get the one pause one, you're not going to be able to see the helicopter spawn. You have to just know that you've got just far enough that he's not going to, um, that he's not going to uh, do a speech bubble. You've got far, far enough to skip it anyway. I'll try and show what that looks like in the one pause one. That's what I'm trying to get. Nope. Oh yeah, that was it. So I was just one pixel far enough that he didn't start speaking. Um, so I paused when I was about here. I hit pause, and then when I unpause, I'd move forward to about, I can't remember, somewhere like here. But the helicopter hadn't spawned, but you can see, again, by kind of following the line of the left side of his house, um, I haven't looked at the exact frame, um, but whichever whichever frame I just unpaused on there to get it in, in one try, you can go back and check, um, is the furthest to the right you have to be. But that looked that looked very close to me, so I assume that's the the furthest pixel to the right. No, sorry, that, that's the that's the least furthest pixel to the right. You have to be to still skip his text, bo text box and not have to pause a second time. The one I just did before, so you can go back and check that to see if you're in the right place for that split second to decide whether you have to pause again and then pause to get through. And then normally after the second pause, the helicopter's going to have spawned anyway, so you can see whether you've got it or not easier. If you're anywhere near your left side of Alex's head being almost lined up with the left side of the building, you've definitely got it, you've gone past. So, yeah. that's what I have to say about that level. Of course, any any questions and stuff, just comment and find me, ask, etc. Um, so we're going to the next level. You have the helicopter, which you didn't collect from the last one, but you get it anyway. And... All of this flying around section at the top actually loops indefinitely and it's just kind of a bonus for collecting gold, so what we want to do is crash the helicopter as quickly as possible. In order to do that, you want to tap a uh, the lightest tap you can, uh, ideally a one frame tap, but I never can press a button for one frame, so like two frames, whatever. Um, <laughs> tap A as soon as the level loads in, as fast as possible. Um, holding, holding right this whole time, you'll get to here. Um, you want to you want the helicopter to descend and hit the water as soon as possible. Alternatively, um, what is kind of slightly faster, you can you can uh, how do I explain this? Stay stay to slightly further to the left so that your momentum so that you have momentum to go under this under these two blocks. Because if the helicopter's blade at the top touches a roof, other than the screen boundary, uh, the helicopter crashes. So what is what is a tiny a couple of frames faster as if you. Fall under, fall under here at the first possible frame, and actually tap A again once you're under those two blocks to break the top of the helicopter um, on the top of those two blocks. But it's ridiculously, um, ridiculously tiny difference. Um, although what does make a difference is how far to the right of the screen you crash. Notice that where I fall at the bottom slightly depends on where I am um, around here. So the, the bottom screen isn't changing here, but if I go further to the right, and then fall. The bottom screen has kind of followed me along and I'm still falling in the same place. So what we want to do is just go as far to the right, kind of... I think it's once you're past the centre of the screen, it doesn't matter anymore. So you want to go as close to the centre of the screen as you can while descending to crash the helicopter as fast as possible. Anyway, that's very tiny optimizations. Just crash the helicopter into the water. Once you're in the water, <laughs> hold A constantly, as you always do while swimming in the water. Um, hold A and hold up and right and literally just hold up and right. You can just hold right. But for that first section, you need to hold up to get around that block. But, uh, once you get here, hold down. You can punch through the fish, or you can wait for the fish to go under you, but optimally, uh, to get to the portal as soon as possible, uh, swimming into it horizontally and not letting any of it uh, come under you is a couple of frames faster. So 
punch through the fish, go straight to the portal. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, go straight to the portal. Yeah, if if you come if you're coming down to the portal and it's any any further left of your rightmost pixel, then you've wasted a couple of frames because you want to be touching it. Yeah. But yeah, doesn't doesn't really matter. Nothing much for that level. Then you get to the town, the wherever this is, little village area. Hold right as soon as you start. Once you get past the right side of the shop, uh, about here. Hold jump while holding right, and you'll make it on top of this block. You have to be holding right the whole time to have the momentum to get to get high enough. This is one of those jumps where you can't make it if you just jump up normally. Get out of here. You can't make it if you just jump up normally like this. You have to be holding right to get that extra height. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah. From the from the start of the level, if you're holding right to the start of the level, it's slightly past the right right hand boundary of that shop. You land on here as soon as you land on here. Do a short a short jump, uh, a short hop as short as you can onto onto these while still holding right completely, and a short hop onto these. Well, a slightly larger than short hop to get the height onto these. Um, if you're holding right constantly and you find you're bonking onto the the corner of that, you can let go of right for for a little bit, for like a split second, just to make sure you don't bonk onto the side of those blocks like that because falling down is pretty bad. So on these blocks. Hop, hop, and then from these, you want to do a full jump to go over the top of those grey blocks and fall through this big, bountiful uh, sky gold stash. Don't know why it's up there, but uh, once you're once you're positioned above the gold, let go of right, otherwise you'll fall straight into here, uh, which we don't want, obviously. Full hop, short, short, long, let go of right, you'll land here. Collect as much of that gold as you fall down as possible. The optima, optimum angle will collect one more of these gold, but it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. As long as you have um, enough gold by the next shop to buy the two items you need, which is really easy, so you don't really need to worry about gold too much. As long as you've kind of come through and collected some of these, you'll have enough gold for the rest of the game. Um, once you land on here, holding right uh, as soon as you land. Short hop onto here. Big hop onto here. Um, it's very difficult. It's very difficult not to bonk on this. So just hold right and jump over here like this. So in order to not bonk, you need to do a. You need to jump and punch like this. I don't know how difficult that is. I just don't go for it actually. The task does it anyway. Um, yeah, in order to not bonk on that, once you've done a full hop up here, you immediately jump and punch while still holding right to go up through that block and not bonk on it. Anyway, then you land uh, here. You wait, wait until you're on the second half of this this block, and do a full jump to make it to here. Uh, hold right and just drop down. You drop through this money bag. Do a little hop over the scorpion. Still holding right the whole time. Once you get to uh, about so that you're covering this left window of this building in the background with your face, do a full a full hop, and you should come up through there diagonally without bonking. Which I'm not doing very well at that. There we go. Land on top of here. Uh, as soon as you land on here, do another full jump up to the top of here. Wait until you're on the second half of this block on the end of here. Do a full jump. You collect that leftmost gold. Um, you land on land on these blocks. Just hold right and drop down. Uh, these will be on a cycle that's nice to you. That you can just hold right the entire time. Uh, so you hold right the entire time through here. You'll get to about uh, here. I think this is the latest you can jump. If you're if you're past the left side of this building, it's, you've left it slightly too late, and you might hit this fire as it comes around on the cycle that it's on. You want to jump slightly earlier than you think for this section to be able to get through that f uh, past that, uh, like above that fire without it killing you. Um, let's just get to that wall. Well, I'll explain the rest of the level and show it afterwards. But yeah, you should jump past that fire and land here. This guy will also be falling off of this ledge. Um, so you want it as soon as you land on here, you want to jump up and over that guy falling off there as well. You land on here. Uh, let go of right slightly or else you'll bonk on that, or again you can try and do a, one of those where you delay your punch slightly and don't bonk on that, but get up there. Uh, I want to actually be up there, let's see, I can't I can't get up there without breaking blocks, that might matter. Ah, it doesn't matter too much. Let's, so let's say uh, you got up onto that block, as soon as you land on that star block over there you do another medium jump up onto here. When you land on here, uh, often it forces you to stop to stop your momentum dead, which I can't seem to do much about, so just continue holding right um, when you land on here. 
uh, do a short hop not down there <laughs> do a short hop from uh, kind of this the line between these two blocks you should fall through uh, this gold bag that was in the air uh, above me here which I've collected already but short hop there you land here as soon as you land here do a full hop you go over that grey without bonking on anything and land in the bull arena um, which he needs to be positioned at the right side of the screen to be in order to show this off so I'll do, play through all of that level before the boss to show how that looks and then I'll save for the boss and explain the boss didn't mean to jump there but oh, let me do it again I want to jump here pop, pop, jump, fall through there let go of right big jump, fall, hop over that diagonal through there, big jump big jump, fall down there run through here, jump early earlier than you think there Ooh, bonked on the grey blocks but apart from that I should have save stated to get the ball in the right place. One more time. I'll stay, save state and explain the boss. Let go right. I could do that punch, punch strap up there, which for some reason I'm not doing, which I really should do. <laughs> Full jump, collect the goal, drop down, jump about here. Oh, that was too early. That was too early. Don't jump that early. <laughs> land on here, jump up there, let go right slightly so you can get up there, or do the, the punch strap, but then it's difficult to land on this platform. Uh, little hop, little hop, big jump over the grey blocks without bonking them, please. Okay. Right, so now you're in the boss arena. You'll fall down slightly further to the right of this so that he'll have spawned immediately, but... Holding right into the boss arena, hold right straight into the boss, and you want it to look like this. So you punch him, he's uh, he's invulnerable and you're in... So he doesn't have a hitbox or hurtbox while he's in the state sliding backwards, so you can like run around in, in him while that's happening. Um, and your punches won't do any anything to him, so don't bother punching more than once here. So punch him once, wait until he's over where he can start move again, which is here. Punch him a second time, which will knock him back. And then what you don't want to do is go too close to the wall, because then this will happen. If you're too close to the wall like this, that you're the very anywhere that the pixels of your fist go past the boundary of the right side of the screen. Uh, you'll die. You can't finish the fight and you'll die. It, this It looks weird. The boss seems to become like invulnerable and invisible. Oh, that, that's the furthest right you can be without dying. The, pix the rightmost pixels of my fist weren't quite on the screen. Oh, off the screen. There, there, now we're off the screen, so even if I just keep standing here and punching, the boss won't die and I'll die eventually, unfortunately. So yeah, you want to do the first punch, do the second punch, and then line up very close to the edge of the screen, but not on the edge of the screen. As close, as, you, as close as you can get without going off the edge of the screen, basically. And then mashing punch uh, as fast as you can, because the boss kind of speeds up exponentially, and you don't want to let him get through, so you need to mash, mash super fast at this point. And that'll also kill him super fast. And then, in order to skip this guy's text box, which you can do, it's only worth it if you um, get it on the first pause, the first try. Although the second pause is basically about the same amount of time as waiting for the text box normally, so two pauses isn't that bad. Um, optimally, you want to, as soon as you've killed the boss, you'll see the kind of explosion cloud from the boss go small, big, small, big. Small? I think it does it that many times. Anyway, on the last time that the boss's explosion switches to small, you want to be pausing just after that, if that makes sense. I'll try and find the frame, because I haven't done frame advance on, to look at this yet. So, I didn't pause the emulator, I paused the game, but that's it, something around there. So you saw his explosion switch to small. It's still small, so, so if you unpause and you see that the um, old man in the in the hut hasn't spawned, just pause again and unpause. He hasn't spawned, pause again and unpause. He hasn't spawned, pause again and unpause, this is a bad one. There he is. So as soon as you see him, that means you've skipped his text bubble, uh, and that uh, the portal will spawn. Uh, even more optimally, as soon as you've killed the boss, wait for, uh, I don't know, a quarter of a second, turn around and jump to the exact position where that's going to spawn, where the portal's going to spawn. So it looks something like this. I didn't quite get the pause, I paused a frame or two late, but that's fine. You can you don't have to go for this pause, it's uh, only optimal if you get it. Oh, look, his mouth moves, I didn't know, didn't know that. <laughs> um, so yeah, you jump to this spot where it's going to appear. 
uh, get that difficult pause, you can slow it down and check it uh, frame by frame on YouTube, by the way, and if, if you didn't know, is uh, the comma and uh, escape, uh, comma and full stop buttons, even. Goes frame by frame through the YouTube player, so you can use that to look at the frames to pause on. If you want, I'll just try, I'll just try and do it on the emulator, actually. So, frame advance. So I think it's once once this small explosion has been on the screen for about f four frames, maybe. Not too sure. Nine. So th I think this was the ninth frame. I think it's there for a total of eight, maybe nine frames, and then he appears. And when, once he's appeared, it's too late, uh, I believe. Yeah, once once he's appeared, it's too late. Um, if you do, also you can soft lock here if you uh, try and re-pause again after you've seen he's he's appeared. If he's appeared and the onigiri hasn't, and you try and pause and re-pause again, that's a soft lock. So once he's appeared, don't pause again. <laughs> um, all right, let's move on to the next level. All right, we're in the volcano. So this is what we needed the ring for from the first level. Um, as soon as the level starts, you're going to press nothing other than uh, pause and unpause, the same as you've been doing, spamming pause and unpause as fast as possible. While the game is... Uh, as soon as the game screen switches, hold A, and you'll select the ring while it's pausing and unpausing as quick as possible. Now your punches do this, and like screen wipe through all of the blocks on screen, and that's going to be really useful for this level, because there's a lot of places where you want to do that. So this one's going to be difficult to show slowly. I'll give it a go. So pause and unpause. Hold A. So as soon as you've held A and done that, uh, spam punch as the, as the game is loaded back in. So as soon as you get control, you do it, one of these. As soon as you fired that shot, hold right and jump. Uh, actually, don't jump immediately. Hold right for a couple of frames. Jump. So the thing about this this uh, punch is you can only spawn the next uh, bullet from it, as it were once the first one has vanished. You can't... so I'm, see I'm pressing punch very fast. I'm still only getting one bullet on the screen at one time. So optimally you want to fire a bullet every time the other one has just vanished. There. There. So for the start, fire a bullet, jump. As you're landing, as you're coming down past this, fire that bullet there. At this angle, so it breaks, breaks that block. You're holding right this whole time, so the one that you follow there We'll continue and go through these three bottom blocks, ideally. So, you, oh, pause on pause, select that. Do that, jump. As you're landing, press that. Whoops. Press it in the right place, please. And that'll go through those three like that. That's what you're looking for. Just wait for this enemy to get out of the way. So once once that, that uh, shot has gone through those, those three blocks and it disappears at the edge of the screen, Jump up and fire another one through those three. You're still holding right this entire time. And now you'll be able to run under here. Holding right this entire time. Still holding right under here. Holding right to drop off here. You'll have like three three frames or something. It's not too difficult of a jump to jump over this lava pit. You'll land about here and have to jump as soon as you land, basically. Um, this bat and this scorpion will be on a nice cycle so that you'll be able to jump through and land here. With the scorpion still being slightly further right than that. As soon as you land on the right side of that lava pit, Oh yeah, if you, if you die, you lose the ring, so you really don't want to die on this level. Um, before you've done everything you need the ring for, at least. So once you land here, jump immediately and fire through those blocks with the stars. Fire through the star blocks like this. And that'll ensure you don't bonk into them and land directly on top of the scorpion and die. <laughs> so you'll be able to jump cleanly through there and land on the other side of the scorpion here. Um, then once you've landed, immediately jump and use the ring again to fire through these bottom row of blocks. So this top row of blocks will be gone, and then you fire through the bottom row of blocks again. So let's get to there. Oh, let's actually remember to select the ring. Oops, I jumped slightly too early. As I said, that jump's slightly tight, but not any difficult. Uh, not any more difficult than other spots in the, in the run. There we go. Oh, this this is actually as you're coming down, you can fire that extra shot. So provided, again, because only one shot can be on the, on the screen at the same time, provided you fired this shot that goes through the star blocks as soon as possible, as soon as you've jumped up to the, in line with them, you'll be able to fire a next shot by the time you come down through this bottom line. 
as you're coming down. So when you land, you jump up here. Uh, when you jump up here, you, this enemy, you should be able to get under this enemy before he comes across. Uh, you jump up to be in line with this, these four blocks and fire a shot through there. This bottom row of blocks underneath that will still be there, so... Again, as soon as you as soon as you fire through there, you'll land. As soon as that uh, bullet has disappeared on the right side of the screen, jump and fire through those bottom row of blocks. And then two little hops up those steps, hopefully without bonking on them. You come to here, do a medium jump and fire through that. You don't want to fall down, obviously. Let me put a safe stick closer to this spot so I can go through it slower. Uh, it's difficult to go through the level once you uh, know it in order. Okay, so we have the safe state here, that's good enough. Oh yeah, if you, if you uh, spawn these enemies in the right spots, they'll start clipping through different gaps in the blocks and such, as you can see. Anyway, so once you're on this spot, jump fire through those four. Uh, still holding right the whole time. You'll probably, you'll probably bonk up against these blocks, you can't really be avoided, because uh, that bullet will still be on screen. You can you can try linger over right slightly after you fire the shot through those four, uh, and jump to destroy those ones. Jump through. We want to collect this extra ring because this ring will be useful for a boss fight uh, very near the end of the game. So collect this ring. Do two small hops up these jump up these steps. Get to here. Hop over there while shooting through this row. Um, once you've fallen down to this platform here, jump and fire through the, that top row so you land up here over there. Uh, the the shot you fired through that top row sh should destroy this block uh, over here as well. Because by the time you've held right it would have uh, scrolled that onto screen. Uh, hop over here. Once you land on here, fire a shot. Uh, this fire will be in a nice enough cycle that you can fire this shot and jump over here. That shot should go through that whole section, that whole row there. Uh, and then as soon as you land here, jump and fire through... Ooh, not that one. <laughs> jump and fire through that second row as well. So fire there and fire there. And then, if you do it correctly, you can jump over the fire at that, at that point there. Or you can get... I, didn't, uh, I can't... I'm not sure if the fire is on the normal cycle. Let me, uh, let me think about it. Yeah, I... I think I might need to restart this level. Let me just there we go. Let me just see if the fire is on the same cycle. See what I do. Oops. Ah, yeah, the fire's on a different cycle. So there, that's what you can normally do. Get in there before the fire is coming around. So you fire through the top one and then the bottom one. Then you'll be about here. There will be these two blocks in the way on your screen, so you need to. As you hop over this gap, fire the shot to break those two blocks. And if you're still holding right, it should break through those three blocks there, which is what you want. You do want to spawn this ghost. The ghost can't hurt you for quite a while before it starts moving. And then, as soon as that bullet's gone off the screen there... Oh, don't fall down this gap, that's kind of awkward. Um, as soon as that bullet's gone off the screen, you fire another one through these ones. Hold right and go under the ghost. Um, even if you go straight through the ghost, it doesn't hurt you anyway, while it's not moving. Might need to wait slightly on this platform in order to be able to fire that block through those properly, or you can bunk up against those and then jump and fire it, which is probably easier because then that hits that enemy there, and you do need that enemy to not be in the way. Jump through here, um, that piece of terrain will move out the way. If if you have, uh, it is possible to follow that that shot that you fire all the way through that it kills this uh, this scorpion. Um, otherwise, you need to. Fire another shot once you're on this section to kill that scorpion there. And there's a tricky little hop to get under this stalactite. You can do one little hop there, that was not it. You can do that hop there and get through that. Otherwise you just fall here and have to do another jump up there. But that's not as good as that, there we go. Um, for that section I like to jump, bonk my head on this and fall down. And maybe tap left slightly as well. It doesn't matter if you spawn these ghosts again because you'll be running fast enough that they won't they can't hurt you. Probably want to fire the shot to kill that scorpion uh, before you jump over there. Otherwise, this is very tight to be able to uh, not hit it. So you land here. Fire a shot to uh, go through the bottom half of these. Yeah, well, you can go two routes here. You can fire this shot to break this. Uh, I think this this top route is actually slightly faster, but for some reason I didn't do it. Fire a shot to break break that. 
jump up onto here, jump up onto here, um, run to here, and jump so that you land here. You don't want to clip on any of those corners of the blocks, you want to optimally land here. And then this is a very tight jump after landing, after landing here. You want to jump when you're about here, so that you, uh, full jump here, so that you get over the scorpion, the scorpion will be about here, running towards you, and the bat will be about here above you, so you want to just miss the bat on the right hand side of it, and just miss the scorpion by landing past it on the left hand side. And then we have another pause uh, for this boss, and we just go frame by frame to show where it is, because this ground is a different texture. Um, what we're looking for is where you stop moving here. So what I like to look at is you see there's a uh, sideways Y type dark line under my uh, under the left side of my sprite. There's a uh, if I could show my mouse it'd be slightly easier, but you can see that on just under my foot there is this kind of Y shape to the side the bottom of the Y pointing right. Where the tip of that Y is, on the right there, is directly kind of in line with the center of my sprite, once again. So that's that's the uh, one I use. Or you can take, take this uh, frame and use any uh, kind of one that you like. Uh, so that's make that work. And this is exactly the same as the other boss. Um, you can get the other states. Oh, I didn't explain the other way through the bottom of here, so the way I like to do it is it doesn't involve that very tricky jump right at the end to miss the bat and the scorpion. You just uh, blast through the bottom row. Doesn't matter if you hit this ghost again because we were running too fast. Blast through the bottom row. I've saved state in an awkward spot to be able to uh, stop and explain it, but yeah, blast through the bottom row. Jump, uh, do a short hop and immediately uh, punch to blast through the second the second row, and then you should have got got through all of this uh, up to here. You need to fire once more to break this one block in front of you, and handily that shot will also break uh, will also kill the scorpion off to the right here, so you don't need to have such a precise jump over this last fire pit. So you get to fire that shot and just do a short hop over the fire pit instead, so you don't need to worry about hitting the bat. Otherwise, you'd have to do this jump that misses the bat and the scorpion, which you have to do for coming down from the other route. Looks like that. Anyway, and then run to here and pause in the right place for the boss. Uh, and this guy's uh, rock, paper, scissors answers, cheat sheet, is scissors first, holding A, so his text box skips, and then paper. And then holding A and right so that you skip his text box and run straight to the exit. On to the forest. As soon as this level starts, you want to hold right for a couple of frames and then immediately punch in up to go in shop doors. Whenever you want to go in a shop door, punch up. Ah uh, yeah, it's, it's very close to the start, so there we go, punch up. You enter the shop. At this stage, you want to have around 400 gold. 320 gold is literally the bare minimum. I don't know why I have such a low amount of gold right now. I... Hopefully you should have collected more while optimally going through the volcano, I suppose. Yeah, 400 is where you want to be. 420 is pretty good. Um, yeah. So 320 is the bare minimum because we want to buy the bike and then also this ank staff type thing which we're going to use for the glitch in the final castle. Again, hold A to skip past the shopkeeper's text boxes to skip them as quick as possible, and then punch it up to go back out the door. Now you're on the bike, so what we're going to do is... Uh, well, I'm going to save state first. Punch it up, go in the door, hold A. Jump to the bike. Jump to the cane. Punch it up. Right, so, the first jump you want to do, you're holding right on the bike the entire time through this level. The first jump you want to do is when you're here. Ooh, not quite. Let me reload. Slightly sooner than that. God. I'll just go really slowly so I can pause it in the right place. <laughs> Here we go. Once your back wheel has cleared the right-hand side of the second tree, where we are now, do a full jump while holding right, and you'll land in the place you want to be. So... Uh, let 
go. So this is this is really difficult for me actually. The pause button is too far away. Um, <laughs> okay, you should land here, breaking these blocks, and then drop down onto this ground with the tree on it over here. Once you're on this one, do a full jump. Uh, anywhere, anywhere around here, it's not that precise. So I'll just go frame by frame, I suppose. Full jump. Still holding right the entire way through the level. Should collect that gold, land over here. Uh, this is the easy section. Full jump anywhere over here to collect the gold. Don't wait too long or you can bonk your head on the bottom of these boxes and be pushed downwards much faster than you expect, which pushes you down into a spike pit. So earlier jumps the better, really. Full jump as soon as you land again to collect these... Uh, at least the first one of that gold. And full jump pretty much almost as soon as you land again. Oops, my jump has not registered. And then your bike is broken. Oh no. Let me get to that section again. Full jump. Full jump. Full jump. <laughs> I got to that section again. Okay. Full jump. Full jump. Full jump. Full jump, and then this is the only tricky one. Yeah, uh, didn't pause in time. Sorry. Full jump, full jump, early full jumps. Okay. Uh, this one's not tricky. Hang on. We'll full jump anywhere around here. Collect one of those gold, uh, gold blocks at least. So here we go. This one, all you need to do, you need to pay attention to this one. Wait until your back wheel has cleared the right-hand side of that tr that final tree once again, and then full jump. And that will land you on top of this block. Or bro break this block, but just get far enough that the block, block pushes you upwards. As long as you get over this p spike pit. That's all we want. So, landing on top of there, which gets you over the spike pit. You can just go straight through all of these on a bike. It's fine. Once your front wheel reaches about the left-hand side of the second tree, full jump. You'll go through here, it gives you an extra life. Actually missed it <laughs> on the frame of dance. Doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. Then you go up to the boss. Continue just holding right. Crash the bike straight into him. Once you've crashed, punch as soon as possible. That punch will push him back. Uh, after you've done that punch, hold right so that you uh, bonk into the wall. Then touch left. And punch again. That punch should hit him as well, hopefully. Uh, this isn't too precise, by the way. It's not actually that difficult of a boss fight. So that punch has hit him, and it's knocked him back to the right again. After that punch hits him, hold to right again. Once you've turned back around to the right, punch. And then, as soon as that punch is finished, punch again. And that's the last hit on him. If he's gone slightly too far to the right, you have to wait for him to come back slightly towards you. And punch him again. The same the same applies if you didn't quite hit the punch turning to the left either. But either way. And then once that punch is finished, just do a uh, a full jump up to land on the portal. Um, I think I don't need to go back over that level, it's pretty good. Uh, this again this is another kind of bonus level, which is holding right, jumping tap jumping to get those, medium jumping to get those. And then holding right and hitting this fish, because the top loops again indefinitely, so we want to go down here. As soon as you fall in, just hold right, just hold A, of course, because we're underwater, so you want to swim fast. Hold right and up, so you get to the end of the level. Once you get to here, hold down and right, and you'll sneak over this guy's head. You might need to let go of right, just press down to hit the portal. Very simple level. Uh, so you get six of these gold bags, hit the fish, hold A, up and right. For the entire level, and switch to holding down A down and right when you're on top of this thing. Get over his head. I touch left just to make sure I'm on top of that portal. Then we have kind of one of the most technical little levels, well, one of the bigger levels. We're not going in the shop. We're going straight past it. We're jumping about here. The, the aim of this jump is to get on top of these two blocks without bonking anything before it, like that. Oh, not like that. Like 
Too soon. That. There we go. Yeah, I think the spot I'm looking for is uh, when the right most when my right toe touches. I suppose this is left toe. Well, when the toe on the far right touches this line that it's above now, with this uh, bigger rock on the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six rocks from the right. Basically. There we go. Once, as soon as you're on here, do a medium jump, land on the other side of the scorpion here. Uh, full jump, land on this block, hopefully without touching the corner of the scrape block, just land straight on the ground here. As soon as you land on the ground, do a medium jump to here. Um, you might need to reposition slightly further out from this block, because again, if you're directly under this block, you might uh, do the thing where you only get not quite as high from jumping stationarily, uh, and not quite get on top of this block like that. So you want to land, hopefully, on the left side of this block. And then jump up into this one, by jump, full jump and hold right. As soon as you're on top of this one, hold right, full jump onto here. Hold right, full jump, full jump off the second half of this block so that your right foot is above, is in the air. I'm not going to have enough momentum there, but that should get you onto this block here. Now these lightning clouds, you can always un run, under the right, uh, run under the lightning as long as you're holding right for the entire time they're on screen, as a general rule. So what we want to do here is not jump into the lightning, that's too early there. Full jump, land on there, full jump, well, medium maybe. Full jump, full jump. Little hop, little hop. Because we don't want to do a big enough hop that the lightning hits us too soon. So you, you land on the middle of those uh, destructible blocks here, little hop onto this one, holding right the entire time, little hop off of this one. Not that little. <laughs> or slightly further to the right of that block. Oops, too soon. Again. Little jump, little hop, little hop. Oh yeah, okay, the second the second little hop is slightly less little than I suspected. Little hop, little enough hop that the lightning doesn't hit you, but big enough to get over the gap. Hop, hop, there we go. Holding right under that lightning, when you're about here, uh, full jump and punch into this block to break it. You have to be high enough to break this block, you have to have been moving right fully to get that extra height there. You don't want to go through. Ideally, you want to break that block and land here, exactly here. When you're on the very corner of this block, you hit left, left followed by jump, one or two frames after, and then immediately switch to the right. If you break that block and fall all the way down to the bottom here, that's fine too. Hold right, jump, let go of right as soon as you see Alex moving to the right at all, so that you just go on the very leftmost pixel as the block or two. So then, left jump right. Once you're on here, left jump right. Left left would jump like the frame after and then immediately switch to right. So you land again here, on the top of this. Once you're on top of this, as long as you're on the left hand side of this block and not like in here somewhere, because if you're in here you might do the thing again where you don't quite get on top of this because of doing a straight jump. As long as you're on the left side, side of this block somewhere, jump and hold right. In order to not bonk, bonk it's nicer to jump first and then hold right rather than hold right and then jump. Tiny thing. Once you're on top of here, run to the end of here, full jump. You'll land here. So, again, it'll stop your momentum for some reason, because you kind of bonk mystery objects while off the top of the screen, I'm not sure. Uh, full jump off of here to the right. You should land on this gold. Uh, once you land on this gold, you can just run off, or you can do a little hop off. The scorpions will be in a nicer position, because uh, you've been holding right the whole time. Let me save state closer to the spot. Yeah, that's, that's the most uh, important part of this main level. Doing that little trick to hop up the side of those blocks vertically. So I didn't jump up there soon enough to break it. You can also do it on this side. But, you know, the inputs are reversed to the right, left, right, left instead of left, right, left, right. So once you're in, ah, I just did the thing. <laughs> it runs you on top of there. Full jump. Full jump. Drop down. Jump to get that gold bag. Jump to get that gold bag. Little drop, little hop, and that that hop is very important. It needs to be very small so the lightning doesn't hit you, but you also need to get over the scorpions. So, so you sit there. Okay, hit that, hit that. Little hop, little hop over there. Well, maybe slightly bigger than the little hop so you didn't land on the scorpion. And another little hop over there. Medium hop over the fire. Hold right to go under that, under this lightning cloud. A little hop over this fire. As soon as you land here, jump up so you land in here. It's really hard not to bonk on this. You can again do that, uh, do this tactic where you go like that, so you don't bonk. 
but otherwise just uh, let the bonk happen. Like that. Holding right over this section. Jumping when you're about here. So your toe is halfway through that block. You should land here without without touching the corner of this block. You should land on this ground here. As soon as you land, you have a small a small window so you don't run into there without jumping. Uh, as soon as you land, do a, a medium hop. Oh no, you do a full hop, sorry. So that you get over the fire on the other side as well. Like this. You should be able to just hold right and this, and you'd be able to run under this fire at about that spot while it's in the cycle. You might need to let go of right for a couple of frames so that you don't run into it too, too soon and that happens like that. But, but to be safe, but most of the time you can just hold right and run into that fire like that. Once you're under that fire, jump uh, as you're approaching the star block so that you land on it. Then full jump off the star block, maybe medium, so you come through the middle of these two fires. They'll be racing up in that cycle so that you can run under the second one. Now, I do this end section slightly slowly. I'm going to try and explain the proper way. Let me just give it a couple of goes. So you're, what, we're, what we're aiming to do is jump about here, full jump about here, so that you land here. You want to land just here. This fire will, will be just over you in the cycle. Um, oh, yeah, something like that. And this this ensures this this method ensures that you actually shouldn't have to let go of right at all. So once you've landed here and got under that fire in that cycle, you can. So this is this is all the cycle has to be exact. And the, the cycle the cycle is based on when the camera approaches the fire, so it's going to be the same every time as long as you're holding right. It depends on the amount that you're holding right. Jump there. Um, so it's the only part I'm unsure about because I actually do it do it in a slightly different way. Oh. Okay, we jump. We do a full jump so that we land in between these two fires. There, I was too short. I could do it. I could try the frame advance again. Let's do that. Um. There we go. So we land here. A full jump and land on here, and then we want to do a full jump uh, somewhere during the second block. Hopefully, so we land here. Yeah, that's that's what we want. We want to land in between these two, these last two fire, holding right the entire time, so we're able to get under lightning clouds before they hit us the first time. And that's that final section while holding right the entire time, which is optimal. And then you come to a boss again at the end of here, and it's the same as the first bike level, the same spot in the ground, you get to look at exactly the same place, exactly here, that's where you want to pause. Which I'm not sure I can do while it's... oh, I can do, okay, there we go. And that is that level. Uh, this guy, the answers for this guy's fight is... Rock plus scissors. Same as the first level with this ground, in fact. He's going to throw some interesting thunderclouds and fire. Again, hold A and right and go straight to the portal. And here's the crux of the run. So, uh, 